Hello, my name is Landry Butler, and I am here to present my capstone project for the Data Analysis Boot Camp at Nashville Software School. My project is a brief look into the need for additional outpatient medical clinics in growing areas of Nashville. My motivation comes from the fact that my wife and I live on the northwest side of town, which is not too crowded or developed. Years ago, there were several hospitals, a couple of doctor's offices on this side of town, but they've all closed. Now the closest providers are about 20 minutes away. In the context of this presentation, healthcare providers includes outpatient surgery centers, hospitals, and medical practice offices. The technologies used include Python for data cleaning and setup, Tableau for data visualization. My data sources include the 500 city studies from the Robert Wood Johnson and CDC foundations, provider location data from Medicare and Medicaid services, geocode information from the U.S. Census Bureau, population projections from the Tennessee State Data Center, and public health clinic locations from data.nashville.gov. My data challenges included finding community level healthcare data at the census tract level rather than the zip code level for more accuracy. I cleaned the data, column names, weeded out the invalid data, joined the data together, and plotted it in Tableau. Nashville is the fastest growing city in the state of Tennessee. We gain up to 100 new residents each day. In 2010, our population was about 627,000, but by 2018, it had grown to almost 693,000. They are predicting a 43% increase in the city's population over the next 50 years, bringing the total to almost a million people in Metro Nashville, Davis County. This map shows the providers in the most populous locations of town. This green area is where most of the people live and where most of the healthcare providers are clustered. We move to the east side of Nashville. We can see there are fewer providers, a lot of them inside the uh, Briley Parkway loop, a few on the outside of the loop towards the airport. Northwest Nashville has three providers, just three. This chloropleth shows a distribution of chronic health conditions in the city of Nashville, Davis County. These uh, health conditions include asthma, arthritis, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, kidney disease, and several other things, several other measures. We look at the drop down over here. We can see that Nashville has its health challenges. This part of Nashville, the north side of Nashville, tends to have a higher concentration than the south side of Nashville. We look at something like arthritis. We see the same thing. It affects the entire city, but it affects the top of Nashville more than the rest of Nashville. We look at something like asthma. We see asthma does not affect the whole city the way that arthritis does, but there are still clusters in this northwest area of town. High blood pressure affects the entire city of Nashville, but you can see much darker colors in this area, much higher concentrations in this part of town speaks to the need of medical facilities here. If we look at all of these outcomes, what we see is that in the outcomes that reach most of Nashville, that affect most of Nashville, there is a higher concentration in this Northwest area. But even the outcomes that do not affect the whole city we have higher concentrations, tooth loss, diabetes, and asthma 
in the northwest side of town. My recommendation for facilities considering moving to this part of Nashville is that community buy-in is paramount in order to get any new facility approved and ensure its success. One wants to consider the current population density, the projected rate of growth. In addition to providing acute outpatient services, treating broken arms, treating strep throat, chicken pox, prospective new providers would do well to partner with other professionals and focus on healthy living along with the prevention and treatment of chronic health conditions. These partnerships could include dietitians, dentists, personal trainers, some sort of healthy food provider, a farmer's market maybe, along with yoga and massage. Thank you for your time. I look forward to answering your questions.